What's up guys? It's Blue Jellyfish and I'm here to bring you guys my top 10 PlayStation 1 games. And the PS1 has always been a very fun console to play. I love it. I have the PS1 Slim. I'm holding a DualShock 1. So let's get right into this top 10. So coming in at our number 10 spot, guys, I have NCAA Fight on 4 2000. Now this might be, <clears throat> excuse me, the best basketball game on the PS1. It is great with new innovative controls and great gameplay. Now personally, I love playing as Michigan State and they won the championship in 2000, national championship, so it is pretty great. I love the game. So let's get into right into number nine. Coming in at number nine, you guys, we have Grand Theft Auto 2. Now, you might, might think of Grand Theft Auto as a pretty great game now. Very inappropriate, I'll tell you that right there. But back in the day, guys, there wasn't games like that. You had your Mario, you had your Zelda, you had your Pokemon. But other than that, guys, there was not very any crazy games like that. So Grand Theft Auto revolutionized that making great games and fun and also a little inappropriate games too. So that is why Grand Theft Auto 2 gets the number nine spot. Coming in at number eight, we have NFL Extreme. Now I love this game. It is a great game, especially to play on the PS1. I remember me and my dad always enjoy playing it, picking our plays and playing as our favorite NFL teams. And with the DualShock 1 on the PS1, the analog sticks make it comfortable and just a great game to play. So let's go into number 7. So coming in at our number 7, guys, we have Namco Museum 3. Now I love this game because I get to play all of my classic arcade games that I love, such as Galactica and Miss Pac-Man, and Volume 3 is my favorite volume, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. I love playing the classic game, and it fits very well into the controller. Very, very well. So, let's go right into number 6. Coming in at number 6, guys, we have Gran Turismo 2. Now, like I said before, the DualShock 1 was a very revolutionary controller. Introducing analog sticks and two ways to play. Now playing Gran Turismo 2 on the console, it feels comfortable and compact in your hands. And it's probably my all-time favorite racing game. So coming in at our number 5, we have Tony Hawk Skater 2. Now this was always a very fun game, attempting all of the different button combinations for tricks and also just skating into whatever. I mean, I remember some courses, one of them was like an abandoned, uh, I don't know, abandoned something. I don't know, maybe you guys can name it for me. But it was very fun, very fun to play. Loved the controls, loved everything about it. Loved how you could choose different skaters. And that's why, guys, it's our number five. So coming in at number four, we have Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Now, Crash has always been just a great platformer character and and the, and to end the trilogy on the ps1 crash bandicoot 3 introduced many great controls and was just overall a great game i loved playing it and i loved watching people try and play it too very amusing so coming in at our number three spot we have the original crash bandicoot now the original Crash Bandicoot was a revolutionary platformer for its time, competing with Mario with platformers like Spyro the Dragon and Mar Super Mario 64. It was it stood up to the competition and proved that that Crash was a, around to stick around. Coming in at our number two place, we have Spyro the Dragon 2: Ripto's Rage. Now this is a great game already adding on to what the first game built up the franchise. Now, there's a lot of hype in, in coming up to this game, and the game definitely handled it well. I loved Spyro's new character design, and the levels are innovative and pure awesomeness. Now, coming in at our number one space, we have the original 
Spyro the Dragon. Now this game was the most revolutionary platformer besides Mario 64 that you could get on the PS1. From the great and hard controls to the amazing voice acting. I love your voice, Spyro. It was just an overall great game and one heck of a platformer that I definitely recommend you guys go pick up on your PS1. You can probably get a PS1 for about 195, but from the bosses to everything else, I love this game and that's why it is my number one PS1 game. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.